So we are set for our next matchup here in Padova, Italy. It is going to be in the men's welterweight division. It will be Mohamed Kamal of Morocco meeting the UK's Liam Harrison. All right, Mike fans, here we go. First in the white corner, weighing in at 66.9 kilos, 147 and a half pounds. He stands 5'7", age 21, from Uzda, Morocco. He's fighting at a boss gym, Amsterdam, with a record of 43 wins and five losses, 15 wins by way of knockout. This man is the 2009 WFC Muay Thai Intercontinental Champion at 64 kilos and the 2010 K1 World Max West European Champion. Introducing Mohammed, the real fighter, Kana. And across the ring in the black corner, he weighed in at 66.9 kilos, also 147 and a half pounds. He stands five foot seven, age 26. From Leeds in the UK, he's fighting out of Bad Company Gym. With a record of 65 and 10, 36 wins by way of knockout. This man is a four-time world champion. I give you Liam, the Hitman, Harrison! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for tonight's fight, Dange the Queen Street of High. Hey, listen, gentlemen, I want clean fight, I want fair fight. Obey my command at all times. Defend yourself all the time. I say, Bob, you start fight, I say, stop, you have to stop. Any question? Any question? Good luck to you, touch bro, back to the corner. Very excited to see this match here. Very excited to see this match tonight. Michael Dix has already recorded a win over Leo Montero in Group B action. In fact, Sonia Cooley mentioned that in her interview with Tynera Lisboa. And also Dennis Schneidmiller has a victory over Medi Zatut in MPL welterweight action and a quick start here. Kamal in the white trunks. Harrison in the dark. Both of these fighters are ready, starting with explosive shots. And Liam with that great low kick and Mo, Mo Kamau with good hand combination. Harrison, a three-time world champion, has fought and won twice in Japan, spent over a year and a half in Thailand training and fighting professionally, and in fact, has competed a number of times in the one of the more hallowed grounds in Muay Thai. Kind of like yet Yankee Stadium or Wrigley Field or Madison Square Garden. We're talking about Lumpini Stadium in Thailand. Lumpini Stadium is a place where all of these legends were made. When I first came up as a fighter, that's where I would be watching all the videos from the top fighters in the past. And, you know, this fight and the concept of the league is very much like that, where all the best fighters had to fight each other. And, you know, the belt would change hands simply because the competition level was so high. Kamal with some beautiful push kicks to Harrison, scoring here as we have just passed the opening minute of this opening round. Great fight thus far. Switch stance here by Mo Kamal, trying yep. a different angle. Self pop, looking for the kick, turns around, and there's Harrison getting in a short elbow strike as well. Oh, and there's a uppercut elbow there by Harrison, looking to cut, or excuse me, Kamal looking to cut Harrison. Well, this is it, as I said before, you know, it's almost like rock, paper, scissors. You make one mistake with these two guys who are at this level, and you pay for it. Yeah, two of the very best at 147 pounds, and there is a knockdown. The referee administering the standing eight count. Much to the displeasure of Liam the Hitman Harrison. What'd you think? I, I, honestly, that was a clean knockdown. Liam's eyes were a little bit rolling back. He got hit with an overhand right hook, and uh, even though he thinks he wasn't deserving of that knockdown, I think it was correct by the ref. And again, the 10-point must system being used here. Three judges scoring each round. Nice horizontal elbow there from Kamal as well. So if it stays this way, Kamal would win this round 10-8, and you're right, blistering combo. There's another elbow, and he almost dropped down again, and Kamal was all Harrison in round one. And I told you, you know, Liam Harrison looked like he was hurt from that first knockdown, and uh, now he throws him to the ground, but he was hurt from the first knockdown, almost got dropped there again. Some beautiful techniques from Mohamed Kamal, the Moroccan fighter fighting on a Voss gym, one of the top gyms in the Netherlands. And there, Harrison catching the body kick, and again, just plowing him down to the ground, trying to get back into this fight. 
Quick counter inside by Kamal. Beautiful counter shot. You can see every time Kamal has a break, he's looking over to his corner. He's listening to everything they say, and that's a great, uh, great suit. Blistering body kick from Harrison, but no doubt around that belongs to Kamal. Here comes Kamal's assault. He's putting pressure. Nice counter. Here's that low kick again. Back him to the rope. Boom, there's that right hook, and that was definitely a legitimate knockdown. You can see it there on the replay. Liam trying to say no, but it was correct. And what constitutes a, a knockdown? I mean, when he's, his hands are down on the ground, that's a knockdown. That's a knockdown, and I mean, he was rocked. He, he got hit with something he didn't see him. I mean, even if you're not hurt really, really bad, the shots that you don't see are the ones that cause the most damage. That was a correct call by a referee that shrink back. In addition to the Muay Thai Premier League, Kamal, also a K1 World Max 2010 West Europe champion, has competed on the It's Showtime events in the Netherlands. And he's also made his mark, of course, on the international scene, looking to pick up a win over the UK's Liam Harrison here in the MPL card from Padova, Italy. But the hitman, Liam Harrison, can't allow what happened in the first round to, to get him, you know, too, too out of it here. He has to refocus. Well, I think the biggest difference, really, in that round wasn't power, wasn't, wasn't technique, it was pace. Mo Kamal was hitting with four and five weapons at a time, and it was a little bit discombobulated. That's yes. today's $10 word. Beautiful word. <laughs> discombobulating there for uh, Liam Harrison and not allowing him to, to, to get in his rhythm. So I think Liam has to pick up the pace if he wants to, to do any damage in the next round. But, Quit looking at my notes and my word of the day, by the way. Come up with Sorry, your own $10 words, okay? <laughs> so, Muhammad uh, Kamal with a beautiful opening round. Liam the Hitman Harrison, though, I'm sure has regrouped in the two minute break. This one has the makings of a classic here in pot of a great start to the fight. Round two underway. And immediately, Harrison going for the body kick, countered by Kamal, and Harrison says, wait a minute, I did that first, here's another one. Liam looks like he's definitely recognized that it's more urgent. He's coming a little bit harder right now, Kamal trying to bully him a little bit. Sweeps him to the canvas. Letting Kamal know he's not going down without a fight. Nice counter to the back as Kamal missed with the roundhouse to the head. And this is what it's like with two skilled fighters. One mistake and you pay for it again. Liam scoring more with his kicks right now in this round. You can see that wet welt developing on the side of Liam Harrison's leg. Oh, blistering body kick there, liver kick by Harrison, and Kamal now closes the gap, delivers a knee. Wants to pummel out here in this clinch, looking for a dominant position, but it's uh, Harrison doing a good job of putting all of his weight on Kamal. He's putting his weight on him, and actually that tires well, and it also stops him from being able to hit with his knee, so it's a smart technique there by Liam Harrison. Ooh, nice left knee from Kamal, but again, he's bullied to the canvas by Harrison. So Harrison, a uh, little, uh, little vinegar here in round two after getting knocked down in round one. Beautiful right hand kick by Harrison, and those kicks are really beginning to uh, set the pace here in the middle stanza. A cavalcade of kicks from the UK fighter. Well, it's exactly as I said in the first round that Liam Harrison would have to pick up the pace, and he has done. He's scoring more than Kamal. Kamal, for some reason, is not firing, and uh, Liam Harrison just picking him up. Part. And believe me, those kicks, they hurt. And we're breaking them down piece by piece. And when you're talking about footwork and everything, you always want to be on the balls of your feet. You never want to be caught flat-footed, just like in any combat sport. Well, really what you want to do is you want to have your weight on one foot and your ball, of, uh, your, the foot on the other foot, sorry, being able to make you move around. So you've got to plant your weight so that when you're hitting, you can hit with power, but you don't want to be too stagnant. Beautiful body shot. Liver shot there by Kamal also comes through with the right horizontal elbow. 50 seconds left and now. These two are just blistering each other with these lethal kicks. Beautiful counter shots. As soon as one lands, the other one hit hammers back. It's a great fight between these two guys. Terrific tilt between the lead of the hitman Harrison and Mohammed Kamal with 35 seconds left in the second round. A big knee. Liam Harrison there spun up. Kamal hit him with a knee to the head and an elbow, then Kamal just spun him right back. And now he goes. Uppercut and horizontal elbow. What action we are seeing here. Beautiful kick. These guys are not. Oh, beautiful counter elbow. And there, Harrison just pushes Kamal to the ground again. Kamal looking for that liver shot, the left hook to the body. 
But Harrison has definitely rebounded after getting knocked down in the first round. This has been the best round of the fight. This has been the best round of the, of the night. night. <laughs> Beautiful uh, evade there and the counter with that kick right back. Beautiful combination here by Mocha Kamal. This round was spectacular. Both gentlemen landing some clean shots and bobbing each other's head back. And it's really hard to score this fight. I mean, Mocha is a little bit ahead because of that knockdown in the first round. But that round, Liam came back, scored more with his kicks, and a great round. Oh, beautiful uppercut. And then countered with that straight left. I mean, every action was met by an equally uh, devastating reaction. Yeah. And the heavyweights are coming up. There's a look at the gentle destroyer, Chris Knowles. Chris Knowles, another fighter who I've spent some time with. We trained together in Thailand many, many years ago. I followed his career. He's always had to fight at a much heavier weight. He's been a small heavyweight and always fighting guys much bigger than him. And I think that this opportunity at 95 kilograms is perfect for him. Now look at Mohamed Kamal. How are you having the fight after two rounds? Uh, hard to say. I mean, definitely Mo, Mo Kamal won the first round. And then the second round is uh, tight. I mean, a slight edge Very maybe. Close. A slight edge maybe to 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 Liam in that round, but I don't know. I mean, it's going to go either way. The first round though is in the bag for Mokamal, so unless Liam wins that second, the third round, or dominates it, it's going to be a Mokamal fight. Harrison getting instruction from trainer Richard Smith and company out of the Bad Company gym, Leeds, England. He feels his greatest achievement so far is winning the coveted yeah. WFC world title. That world title is sitting at the end of this division and the end of this league for, for the best fighters. So uh, he's so looking lots, forward to winning again. Lots to look forward to in a quick start to the final round. And again, Harrison just tosses Kamal to the canvas. Oh, another body kick. Oh, beautiful elbow. elbow. Those horizontal elbow strikes from Kamal. Look at that double left hook to the body. And an elbow from Kamal. Blistering quick action. And we thought that that last round was the best of the night. This one's already turning out to be the best. Beautiful spin oh, off. Oh, man, that knee right up the middle to the jaw. And look at that, just blistering the body left, right, and then Harrison coming up the middle, now looking for the tie plum and a knee to the rip cage. Whoa! Deposits Harrison over the top rope. <laughs> They're fooling and each Harrison's, other. <laughs> Harrison's a little upset by the uh, turn of events. Thankfully, we do have a little bit of an apron, so he could have been a lot worse. Mokama being dumped a few times decides to dump Liam right over the ropes. Yeah. Oh, again, that liver kick. And oh, Kamal slips after delivering a kick that misses. Oh, again, the body kick oh, beautiful left hook, and it looks like Liam got a little bit of rock right there. And well, Kamal came back with an elbow, and another level trajectory elbow, and an uppercut to the body. Liam is bleeding, he got cut on that elbow, now he's dripping blood, and another elbow there by Mo Kamal. Man, Kamal just going to the well with these eviscerating elbow strikes that's bloodied up the left side of Harrison's face. Stop. Step back. Step back. Stop. This is Muay Thai Premier League action. Unbelievable fight by both these guys, giving it their all right here in the ring. And you called it. You thought Harrison and Kamal would deliver, and they are doing that in spades here in Panama, Italy. The crowd enjoying every scintillating second. Mo Kamal dominating this round right now with that elbow strike, and uh, got Liam Harris on the back with Liam. Ooh, beautiful kick. Nice counter left hook, and there's that elbow again. He's finding a home for it every single time. That right horizontal elbow strike, and it's doing damage to Harrison's face, and the referee now wants the gun to get inspected. Mokoma walks over to the neutral corner, winks at us as he uh, <laughs> he's looking over at the result of his work. I think he's enjoying his work thus far in this round. And we are definitely enjoying what both athletes are providing us with here on the Muay Thai Premier League action. Although my dry cleaner might uh, enjoy it as well, some blood has found its way to the broadcast booth. It's becoming a staple of the MPL. Well, I guess so. Ernesto, who's the host last time? Yours truly this time. The referee deciding on whether or not they want to keep the fight going. I think they're going to allow Liam Harrison to, to continue the fight. I mean, it is the third round. There's only a little bit left. And yes, there is some blood over here on this in the commentator booth. Who, who do I send the dry cleaning bill to, sir? 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, who? 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 <laughs> Great round, and it restarts here. Referee calls for action. Oh, blistering left kick to the body from Harrison. And again. Harrison's got two cuts on his face, and he's trying to keep his distance with a kick to avoid getting kicked with another elbow. Push kick the deep, and he gets backed up and dropped by Harrison. 40 seconds left. Nice high kick, but he got countered with that left hook, and it buckled him for a second there. Left hook, knee to the body, blocked. Harrison falls down. And Harrison knows that time is of the essence. Ooh, nice job of avoiding that left kick. 20 seconds. And again, oh, inside. Cut kick there by Kamal. Nothing but action here. Unbelievable action in this fight, and I mean, I have to tell you, I'm impressed by both of these fighters' performance tonight. So far, definitely the fight of the night. You called it, Clifton Brown, the fight of the night thus far. Tremendous action. The crowd here applauding the efforts of both Liam, the hitman Harrison, and Mohammed Kamal. Two, two events into the MPL, and that fight looked like it would have been fight of the year, to be honest. The personification of the king of martial arts, the science of eight limbs, that was a Muay Thai masterpiece. It doesn't get much better than what we were just treated to. And now it comes down to the judges. And Clifton, you have the unofficial scorecard. You've been doing a bang-up job so far tonight. Who do you think wins? Well, we're going to see it here in the replay. I mean, dominant performance. There's that elbow that cut up him. There's another elbow there by Mo Kamal. And, I mean, Mo Kamal used everything well tonight. High kick, low kick, medium kick, body shots, and elbows. And, again, I was very, very, very impressed by the performance of both oh. these fighters. Oh, another elbow again. I want to have busted his proboscis. Just tremendous <laughs> techniques. That, that's a $20 word. <laughs> Spell that one. Hey, I had to undo you. P R O B S. Uh, I give up. <laughs> but I know these two will never get up, uh, give up as it was a, a battle for the ages here in Padova, Italy. And Chris Gregory's got the official decision of what was one of the best fights in the short history of the Muay Thai Premier League. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have your decision. Judge one scores the bout 30-27 in favor. Come on. Judge two sees it. 30-29 in favor, Liam. And Judge 3 has it, 30-29 in favor for the winner by split decision in the white corner, Mohammed Kamal. Well, the right guy, I think, ends up getting another split decision. They seem yeah, to be the order of the night on here. Italy. Liam Harrison. Harrison not too pleased, but uh, I think you're right. Once he sees the tape, he'll he'll understand what transpired. And, and really, I, I don't know if he should be disappointed at all with his performance either. It was a terrific fight. He fought an awesome fight. It was one of the fights of the night. Uh, it was the fight it of the was, night. so far. You're right. Uh, whether or not that knockdown counted in that first round, he was still a little bit outpaced by Mo Kamal. What do you think was, of the scoring so far tonight? I think the scoring has been correct. I mean, there have been a couple of split decisions that I would have said were dominant the other way. But unfortunately, you know, that's how it is sometimes. But still, the right fighter has won every fight.